The Churches Conservation Trust is the national charity for churches at risk. We look after 360 churches vested in us by the Church of England and when they come to us often they've been neglected or have some form of damage to them and we repair them. Church buildings tend to be the centre of a village or a town or a community. They tell the history of the local community, so it's really important that we keep these buildings standing and maintained really well so that people can enjoy them now and in the future. So an annual maintenance visit, we have two that happen every year. Each church in our estate is visited by our maintenance contractors. We do annual maintenance visits whereby we will check the gutters, clear the gullies, maintain what they call the cordon sanitaire, which is the metre band around the footprint of the church. We'll check the slates, clean the gutters high level, so all the lead work, replace where we can any of the slates that are broken, report back any defects to the office, anything that is going to be detrimental to the welfare of the building can be highlighted. It's really important to maintenance because the main thing is to make sure that our churches are happy and healthy. The main thing is to keep water out of the buildings and so looking after the rainwater goods, looking after the drainage, although it's not that glamorous, it's really really important because when things go wrong they can go dramatically wrong and letting water into the building is something that we don't want. As with all the churches that we look after there are varying degrees of work needing to be done, some more serious than others. We try and do what we can where we can but it's never a simple case of being able to walk away and then being good for the next five years. The next maintenance visit will always show something else that needs attention. We practice a stitch in time maintenance. This means that if we just replace a slipped slate as soon as possible the water doesn't pour through the fabric and rot the roof structure. So this will save us costs and it will also mean that more of the ancient fabric is able to be saved. The CCT is just here trying to save these buildings. We rely on the generosity of the communities through both time and donations and their support can help these buildings continue for generations to come.